we've been waiting ages for a cafe racer style electric bike to become available and here it is and as much as i try i can't find a bad angle it's absolutely beautiful it's also being electric very stable and incredibly easy to maneuver in very tight spaces and out on the road it's been absolutely fantastic Hello and welcome to another episode and welcome to this, the fantastic Horwin CR6 electric motorcycle. Now it's based on a 125 equivalent, so chuck an L plate on and it's learn illegal. But actually this is a really great commuter solution. Artisan Electric, who we've had the bike from, are saying it has a range of up to 80 miles. I'm currently at 67% state of charge and I've covered 50 kilometers. So 30 miles on 33% that's not doing bad actually I think that's okay and realistically that's my riding now the battery is a 4 kilowatt hour with 18650 cells so pretty standard electric vehicle type setup and you can get a full charge from the charge port tucked just down the other side in about three hours but actually a 20 minute boost will give you about 20 miles of range so actually a very very versatile bike artisan have said that it has a top speed of around about 55 miles an hour i've seen 95 kilometers an hour on the display so there thereabouts that does change a little bit depending on whether you're going up or downhill in terms of power it will give you 7200 watts or 7.2 kilowatts peak and that's pretty good it, it pulls away nicely it really gets off the mark around about the 30 mile an hour speed it's still pulling well and that sort of dies off as you move into the top speeds as electric vehicles or in fact any vehicle generally does so one thing that struck me as being really very good on the Horwin was the way their suspension set up. Bikes are all about the way they ride and this rides fantastically. It's 140 kilos, but Horwin have done a great job of setting this up. It's well balanced, it's directional stability is good and, that, and that's clever for the weight that's actually in the bike. The Horwin are saying the battery will last for 2000 cycles. I'm guessing that is to a certain percentage factoring in some kind of degradation. Remember, 18650s, the same as the uh, original Tesla Model S, so they've stood the test of time and they are very reliable. The motor is oil cooled, so no overheating there. And just down the front here, you have some cooling fins, which are for the battery. That's so the battery is air cooled. The air rushing over the front there will, um, will, will take away any of that excess heat. So the Horwin comes with a single disc brake at the front and a four pot calipers twin line. So stopping power is good. Also, you'll see the transverse front forks, which I think are aiding the really good suspension feel. If you come around to the rear, you'll notice a single disc brake and a single pot caliper. Point to note here is rear foot peg. So you can take a pillion on this, obviously not with L plates. And if you look just through here, again, you have adjustable suspension for the back. So you can set it up as you want, all top stuff. Now, strangely, you'll see it's got a chain and sprocket, which it's a little bit random. I tend to go for belt drives, it's much more efficient. However, this one is particularly quiet. A real gripe of mine is poor build quality, but you've got none of that on this bike. It's so well put together. Everything's thought out well and everything is bolted down well. Just things like this, this is nothing, nothing seems to move. Nothing rattles, you hang on to the front light, you hang on to the front mud guard. For potential buyers, I think you can have a nice ownership experience here. This is a very well put together bike and I'm looking forward to doing my next 50 kilometers. For the week that we had the haul in, I constantly found myself looking at the bike and how good looking it is. It's a really great design and the cafe racer style are all the rage at the moment. Sports bikes are out and these are in and with low running costs and almost no maintenance, it's no surprise people are queuing up to buy them. As expected, it's full LED on the front with a halo DRL and the same on the back with LED indicators and stop and tail lamps. The layout is pretty much as you'd expect and a quick turn of the key and a push here and you're on your way. However, if you're feeling lazy, the Horwin has keyless start so you can keep your keys in your pocket and not have them hanging around on the handlebars. This is a feature I'm really loving. Something else I really like is the in-tank storage with USB charger. It's nicely lined and appears to be well sealed, so popping a mobile or iPod in here is perfect. And of course, the charging leaf fits snugly in here as well. 
The rear brake is now in the conventional position, which suits me, as often these have migrated to the near side of the handlebars. And we have a two-speed switch. Number one limits you to 30 miles an hour or 50 kilometers an hour, and number two gives you everything the bike's got. A very useful feature, especially for driving around town. I spent a week riding the Horwin, trying to fault it, getting used to its useful features, and ultimately testing out its range, one of the most important things. In all honesty, I only achieved 75 miles on a single charge, but I did ride it hard almost constantly, which was what surprised me the most. It was cold, wet, and not favourable conditions for any bike, let alone an electric one, but the Horwin really did perform faultlessly. When I did get low, a quick top up on a three pin plug had me on my way again within 30 minutes, and with a decent amount of range. Over to the handling. It's awesome, that's all I can say, even in these poor conditions. I would have liked to have tested it twos up, but finding someone to jump on the back in zero degrees just isn't easy. However, I've no doubt that the performance would be equally as good. To date, for what it is and what it says it can do, this is one of the best bikes I've ridden, and I'll certainly be on the phone to Artisan Electric in the summer to try and get another loan, which incidentally is where you can register your interest for this cracking Cafe Racer Electric 125.